Okay, now we are live. Hello, friends. How are you doing today? My name is Gustavo Romero. I'm an entrepreneur mindset coach. Uh, you can you see us right now on Facebook. We also are in our private group, Bob Proctor Mindset Mastermind. And uh, today we have a special guest, which is Faith Motlana. She is from South Africa, and she will tell her story about how she experienced and what improvements she went through doing our coaching program think into results faith why don't you um introduce yourself and tell us about you thank you so much gustavo um as gustavo has already introduced me my name is faith motlana i am all the way from south africa um i did thinking into result late 2018 november um Prior to, de to doing TIR, I was in a very terrible space, you know. I was, there was a business that I had tried with a couple of my friends and things did not go well. I got into so much debt. Um, I was anxious. I had a negative self-image, you know. I was just doing too many things, um, doing this, leaving it, doing another thing, leaving it, you know. So I was very frustrated um, prior to doing that, you know, to doing the coaching. Then I heard of Bob. Obviously, I was a fan of Bob Procto. So I've been following him for some time for quite some years. Um, every time when I check how much it cost to work with him, it was a stumbling block. You know, I was like, this is a lot of money, you know. So I would follow him on, on YouTube and do the things, some of the advices that he shares there, which is very valuable information that he shares on YouTube. So I became a fan and, you know, I had so much passion to want to work with Bob and understand this material because the first time he opened his mouth and speaking, I was like, you know, this man is answering the questions that I've always had throughout my life. Why is it that people are living in a certain way and some of us who are living in a certain way, you know? That has been my experience. Um, then I got an opportunity to do TIR, which is something that was very um, mind blowing for me. You know, it was a great opportunity that I got um, to be able to do TIR. Prior to doing it, um, when I was doing it also, before I, I, I did TR, I did not have a cent to pay for that program. You know, I did not know how I was going to do the program, but I knew that I kept on asking the universe that this is what I want to do. You know, this is what I want to do. And I truly want to work with Bob, you know. And I could see and I would, I would follow other people's success stories that were working with Bob and other consultants, you know. And I knew that this was going to not only help me get the material things that I wanted, but it was going to save my soul. You know, I was in a very terrible space, also emotionally, you know, spiritually, mentally. I was in a very, very bad space. Um, but my journey with TIR has been a blessing. It has been extremely blessing. I managed to, when I began TIR, I worked with two goals. My first goal was to open up a trading floor in South Africa. I love financial market. I've been trading uh, Forex and making wins, making losses, you know. I've been trading it with my friends, and this is what I wanted. I wanted to bring an opportunity to people to be able to not only learn, but get into a space where they are able to learn and practice what they have learned and be hired to work with a firm and, and become profitable and reach their own financial freedom through financial market trading. This has always been my, my passion, you know. Secondly, I've, I've been a teacher by heart. I've, I've known that ever since I was young. I've always inspired, I've always motivated people, you know, even myself, you know, I've been always doing that. I've been reading books. So I knew that I wanted to become a coach, you know. Um, this, these were the goals that I worked on step by step when I was working on TIR. Um, it helped me a lot with a lot of awareness, awareness of myself, firstly, who I am as faith, not only as faith, the physical being, but myself as a spiritual being, you know and my relation to the entire universe how do i fit in as an individual you know and i got to understand myself i got to understand the paradigms that i was operating on i got to understand my money paradigm you know i grew up in a background in a family where money was very scarce you know it has always been scarce i've had a lot of stories about lack of money you know i've grown up with a lack of mindset in terms of money in many other areas you know um it it, it helped me to to gain faith on myself it helped me to have confidence on myself you know um the physical manifestations that i got working on tr was that currently i'm sitting in my office at our own trading floor in south africa we managed to attract partners that we are going to work with, with you know international partners that we are in business with we managed to get very um nice 
guys that are working with that are our traders 10 traders that we are working with you know were just a bunch of great team that were working on this project Another thing that became a win for me was also manifesting an opportunity to become a coach with Thinking to Success Academy. This has been my passion, you know. Um, and I got to realize that most of us, the reason why we're not getting results as traders was because of our paradigm, you know. The paradigm plays in many different areas and it comes in different circumstances, you know. Even when you are not making profits in your in your business, in your coaching firm, it might not be that you don't have the technical and fundamental skill of that of that particular uh, profession that you are in. It might be your something that I discovered, you know. So um, I also managed to 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 get an opportunity to work with Thinking to Success Academy, and this is this is something that I enjoy. I enjoy helping people like myself. Firstly, to know who they are, you know, when we are getting into TIR. We're excited about the things that we are going to manifest. This is also, it was an excitement for me, the physical things that I was going to manifest. But I came to realize and I came to highly appreciate the non-physical, you know, things that I manifested, which is peace that I have. You know, now, regardless of what's happening outside, I'm able to maintain my own peace, you know, um, which is understanding my own self, the ability to sit with myself alone and not worry about a lot of things, regardless of how things are happening, you know. I'm enjoying my journey of working with Thinking Into Success Academy, helping other people also discover who they are so that when you understand who you are, you are able to get the things that you truly want. You know? So that has been, it has been a great journey for me. Um, I'm continuing to learn on a daily basis. You know? I'm continuing to help people who say, the these are the things that they want. You know? The biggest thing is when you get to discover who you are becoming or who you are as a, as a, as a spiritual being before other things and you get to appreciate that because when you appreciate that you are able to get to manifest a lot of things you know you get to you know, appreciate yourself how are you connected to god yes yeah you know it's very interesting um i, I went through i was a client too myself uh, before i became a consultant uh, i was doing tir as a client is it's amazing how our mind block us yes. to succeed yes. in life you know, someone, a good friend of mine was explaining this very, very, very well, is that failure is associated in our prehistoric mind as death, like really yes. death. So in, in prehistoric world, if you die, that's a failure. So it's, failure is associated with death. So every time someone wants to do something that they never tried before and mm. they fear of failure, they have this anxiety and they start really the body is reacting that they, they can do this, they can do this. Because this can do it or impossible. It's just yes. how your mind is telling you, do not die. But we yes. are not dying. It's just we moving, we expanding ourselves just to be mm -hmm. able to reach the, the goal we want. It's yes. a stress that we have it to is. break free so we can get the result we want. Yes. You know, um, every time when a person would talk about money, you know, you have an anxiety, you know, you feel not at ease because you know that um, it's an area where you are not excelling. It's an area where you are certain that you are not getting results. You know, every time when there's an opportunity that is being um, presented to you, then the word money, this is how much you must do. And I've realized that we are also not programmed to invest on ourselves. You know, we get to invest on other things except ourselves. And it's a program. Because when we are the how, we are going to get the things that we want, then we owe it to ourselves to invest on ourselves. You know, that has been the biggest stumbling block um, for me also. How do I invest on myself when I'm used to investing on certain things for me to make money? But I found it to be a very valuable thing. To invest on self helps you to get the results that you want, you know, and it has been a great journey ever since. And I'm yeah. continuing to invest more on myself. You know, I was talking with uh, another client once, and I was explaining that we humans are here to create our life, right? So we create our life, we create everything that's around us, we create our clothes, we create this computer. Now you're in South Africa, I'm in Florida, we broadcast in different parts of the world. So yes. uh, that is creation. The problem happens that people conform. And I explain it this way. If you're in a room and you're sleeping and you have a little pet with you, let's say a dog, and it's raining and a window breaks, the dog will just run away and find shelter somewhere else around the house. But you are not going to do that. 
you are going to repair the window, seal it, uh, clean the, the room, and then maybe find another place to sleep if you not, cannot sleep there. So in other words, we create, we're repairing, we creating something. So yes. when people are afraid, what they're actually doing is they're adapting. So, you know, animals adapt, humans yes. create. When we adapt, is basically what we're doing, we conform. Mm. We conform with the current life. We conform with the current money we're making. We conform, which is basically adapting what we expect from life or what life is giving us, where we need yes. to work on what we want. So eliminating the word can't and impossible is very important because yes. that will allow us how we can, how we can make it happen. And so we just put in a write of paper and write down all the things that we can do it. And we, when we have a goal, then our mind would naturally work towards achieving that goal because we are humans, we create, but we are goal oriented. Even when we yes. get, we're sleeping, what is our goal? To wake up. So what do we do? We wake up. Our goal is to yes. take a shower. Our goal is to get dressed. So all the thing we do every day is achieving those daily goals. Yes, um, you actually remind me of lesson seven, you know, Terra Beria. Share that lesson when Bob was talking about um, fear and faith. You know, faith to me was just a name. It was just my name. I did not know how deep faith was, you know, to yourself, your life and the dreams and the goals that you set for yourself. You know, um, it was through understanding that I get to be where I am today. The confidence that I have gained was through understanding of TIR. Prior to that, I would just react to everything. You know, I would, I would be afraid. I think to a certain extent, you become afraid to live in, you know, hence where you are saying people get to conform because people don't know better, you know, people don't know better. But when you are working with this material and you start to have an understanding of you as an infinite being, you start to rely on yourself. You stop relying on things outside, you know, you start to rely on yourself. And even when you are not seeing anything, I love how Bob put it to say fear and faith both requires you to to um, to focus on something that you don't see as yet you know to trust something that you don't see so he teaches you how to how to lean towards faith you know faith that comes with understanding the understanding that you are god's highest form of of creation you know um this is this is the material that is life transforming this is material that needs to be in every household this is the material on, on everyone because I don't think there's any being who wants to reside in a spirit that is full of anxiety, that is full of worry, that is full of anger. That thing on its own, it's toxic and it takes a lot from you, you know. And people conform because they don't know better. But when you start to gain an awareness of what you are as a spiritual being, um, you get to, 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 to have faith in the things that you do. You have faith in the, the source, you have faith in the universe, you have faith in God, you ultimately have faith in yourself, you know, and you get to see your journey unfolding. So I'll forever be grateful for this lesson. I'll forever be grateful for TIR and what it has done for my life. And I'm grateful that I'm part of the people who are positively impacting lives of other people through this material. I'm, I'm utterly grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, I think so that being positive is not easy. You know, most people thinking that being positive is just a part of nature, where one day you wake up and you're happy, and another day you wake up and you're sad. It's not like that. It's you consciously force yourself to create the habit of being yes. positive, the habit of being happy. For example, yes. for example, you have a in South Africa native language, you speak English, I speak Spanish, I speak English, but my native language was Spanish. So for me, when I wanted to learn English, I needed to speak in English, I have to listen in English, I have to read in English. I really have to become my goal, which was talking in English. Yes. Creating good habits, having a positive attitude, always looking for the best, expect for the best, always being mm. optimistic. Yes. That are habits that we need to learn. In other words, what I explain to people, this is same like a language. You, if you want to speak French, and you never speak French before, you have to start reading in French, you have to take lessons of French, you have to True. talk in French, or you have to do all related. And so yes. at some point, your subconscious mind will take that language, and then you can speak French without ever thinking in Spanish or in English. It will exactly. come naturally in you. And that yes. is success the same way. 
all these yes. feelings of optimism and everything everybody's going to say yes if it doesn't say yes then already because someone else will find me that optimism is a habit mm -hmm. and we have to yeah. learn it the same like a language yeah. and it's a journey you know it's a journey that you take step by step when you are beginning you still have those anxieties you still feel like you are wearing new shoes you know when you are wearing new shoes and you are not comfortable you still go through that when you are doing this material. But because you have invested on yourself, you've put in money, you've put in time, you are willing to do the work. You know, you are willing to work with your subconscious mind patiently and persistently. You are willing to work with it. You are willing to work on your goal, you know. And you go through it over and over and over. And it becomes nice when you have developed the habit, you know, when your subconscious is now able to help you to do the things that you want. But uh, it's not like we don't go through challenges. I'm still running a business. I sometimes experience challenges. But it's because of the understanding that I have. You know, I get to also choose. You get to have the power of choice. Are you, go are you going to focus on the challenges? Or even when you know, you are aware of the challenges, however, you focus on the positive side of things. You know, you give your attention to the positive side of things and you continue to work. You know, I still work on this material. I still, still do a repetition of TIR. I still invest more on myself. You know, not only as a coach, but also as, as an individual, you know, to make sure that I offer the best that I can and that I know I'm capable of, you know. So you work on it over and over and over again. And you don't get tired of working on yourself. I believe that you are the best project you will ever work on. Yeah. And sometimes I talk with people, so some people have so much failure in their life. They, they really start conforming and accepting the current situation and not really living the life they really want to live. So I love when Bob, Bob Proctor said, fix a goal in your image, in your mind, and yes. then leave it in your mind. Create that dream. Basically, the dream, what you're doing is building success in your mind. Yes. So yes. it doesn't really matter. Success doesn't have to be all, only on the physical world. You can mm -hmm. create a success in your mind because success built on success. Then your body will start acknowledging that success in you and they will start representing or manifesting that success in your real life. True. And in fact, you start to do things better when you start to feel successful. You have not yet seen the material things of the things that you want, but when you are feeling confident and you, your mind is wired, you know, when you are building an image of success, your mind gets to be occupied by the things that you want, you know. So you are working in a calm and confident environment. You are calm when you are doing things, you know. So it helps. It shows us that indeed the living is from inside to outside, you know, because when you are only going to rely on the material things, the physical things that you are seeing, what happens when you are not confident? You know, what happens when you are supposed to be doing presentations? When I began this firm, I was doing presentations, you know, I was presenting to people that I have never met before, you know, because we were raising capital. When you are in business, you must be able to do that. But because of this material helped me with confidence. I was able to do that, you know. Even when the answer was no, when I was beginning, I did not have a challenge because I knew that I've given it my best. And it helped me to develop confidence more than anything. So you get to appreciate the non-physical things that this material gives you. And as you start feeling good and feeling better about yourself, you start doing good, you start to attract better. The people that said no, they, they come back to you. You know, even more people come back to you. And people just love being around you because you emit a positive energy, you know. And this is the, my journey with TIR. This is what it has been for me, you know, throughout working on it over and over and over and over, working that paradigm, hitting a tarot barrier, going back and doing the work over and over and over. You know, it's when you have made a decision that this is the kind of life that you want for yourself. And when you are aware that you deserve more than what you are currently having, you will do the work and you'll do it over and over. So um, this has been my journey for me, you know. Yeah, I always tell people you have to saturate with the material. You have to yes. put the material inside of you and not memorize it, but really saturate yes. it so you are, if someone talks to you, it just can naturally. I, I personally, exactly. same like you, I enjoy talking with people. I enjoy sharing this. I enjoy sharing the opportunity to people to have a better life. It's all about them. It's just yes. to make sure to make them believe that they can believe that that is the case. Exactly, exactly. And one of the most rewarding things of being a coach is that you get to feel good when people are achieving their goals. You know, you are excited for people when people come to you and tell you that this is what I want to manifest. And people come with goals that are very emotionally close to them. You know, people wanting to transform their families, people wanting to improve their health. And it becomes 
something that you enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis where you help the next person to get the things that they want you know you are not only rewarded in a monetary form but you also get to feel good about yourself when you have positively impacted the life of another person you know so it's it's just a great um journey that i'm on and i'm, I'm loving it and i'm enjoying it yes yes well faith i want to thank you for your time um once again uh, thank you again <laughs> and thank you would so you much. like to say one more thing before we we we, we close the, the the interview um it's just a simple encouragement you know deep down that you deserve better you know you know that you can live better than how you are living you know that you are worthy of the good that you desire just make a decision like i said when i began this journey i did not know where the money was coming from when that paradigm of money keeps on coming i actually just wrote down you know it, this was one of the guidance that I was getting from Bob on YouTube. Just write down what you want. I knew that it was a great investment. I did not know where the material, where the resource rather was going to come from, you know. So my encouragement to people is that do not stop dreaming because you, you think that you don't have money to do the certain things that you want. Just write down what you want, you know. You are worthy of the good that you desire. You are God's highest form of creation. You deserve to live the lavish lifestyle that you want for yourself, you know. You deserve to make your life and the lives of people around you better. So you are a decision away to the life that you want. You know? um, so my encouragement is that do not stop dreaming and always keep the faith. Always keep the faith. We are serving a living God. Things do happen. You know, Things do happen and you will end up being exactly where I am. And I'd love to work with people who are saying, I am ready and this is what I want to do. You know, I'd love to share my journey with more people all over the world. You know, um, And just show that we are oneness. You know, We are all connected regardless of our countries, our races, our gender, and all that, you know. So I'm just saying to everyone, learn to invest on yourself and dream big and keep those dreams and, and work on yourself on a daily basis. Thank you so much for having me, Gustavo. Thank you. Thank you, Faith. Thank and you. we look forward to have a future meeting with you too as well. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.